again. I I know you guys are screaming at me because why? And the reason is I keep buying these dang peel and stick tiles because there are things I want to do that I don't want to do yet and that is tiling and peel and stick is just easier, right? I uh, maybe not. I don't at this point probably not. But this one, this one's easy. Do you see how thin this is? This is literally, and I have an example here, I cut it with scissors, just normal scissors, not, not even special scissors. And this is going on the fireplace. And that is because the granite currently, I think looks dumb on it. Like the color with everything else on the fireplace that I've already done, I think looks dumb. So, and it's cracked. I put this on it as a temporary solution and at some point, once I feel like I want to tackle it, I'm going to tile it. Um, same with some other places in the house, like maybe the bathrooms. Yeah, we're going to put this on. You're not going to see me complain because this is easy peasy. I didn't return it because I knew scissors on this. And actually, yes, it, I mean, it's not real tile. It does kind of from afar have kind of the sheen of a real tile. The only thing that doesn't look amazing is the in-between area where there would be grout looks like a stick but it's going most of it's gonna be covered by the fireplace cover anyways so i'm gonna do that i do have i'll probably cut away to that because i don't want to like actually talk through that i do i need okay my brain's everywhere wedding planning finally no i'm not wearing my ring and that's because i don't like wearing it just like at home especially when i breastfeed him like i don't want to accidentally I have scratched them with it before and you know I don't like scratching baby so I need to figure out what in the heck I'm gonna do with my wedding because it's already been what he proposed end of March April May June July August it's been over five like five and a half months and I have done nothing for it and if I want to get married in the next year which I do <laughs> I need to figure that out so I need advice. I am down to four options. Okay, and I'll probably put all the options in here and I actually in real time need your guys' help because not like, I don't know, like I'm not someone that's always dreamed of a wedding. I don't have an ideal wedding. I think my ideal wedding is a small one, but I need your guys' opinions. The only thing I have dreamed about is obviously a wedding dress because, you know, I worked in a bridal shop for like eight years. I love wedding dresses. I want to own a bridal shop and um the photography and the venue like the scenery the venue and the photography and obviously you having randall there and asher uh, are the most important things the actual wedding itself and like doing it for other people is not not it for me but maybe that's something i'll regret in the future that's why i need your help so the one i'm gonna pull up my laptop the one option my favorite at least my, it literally is my favorite, it's not Randall's favorite, is going to Tennessee. So we live in Indiana now, and it's like a five and a half hour drive to Nashville. And if you guys have been with me for a while, I wanted to live in Nashville for a while. Like I still secretly want to live in Nashville. I love it. It's beautiful. I found an amazing venue. It's called the Cheekwood, and what I would want is to do it in the, the ceremony and with Syria Arbor, which is just the most beautiful backdrop for photos. And like, it's so pretty on its own that it really just like throw in some peonies, which are my favorite flowers and call it a day. Cause they already have the chairs there. Beautiful. Maybe get like a violinist. Is that your call? Violinist. That sounds wrong. Someone who plays violin to do like the ceremony music. And I think it'd be amazing. And then maybe rent out, there's like a room right next door to it uh, to do like a dinner, a seated dinner. And then that's it. Like the only traditional things I'll have, ceremony-ish. And then um, a cake because I love cake. And a first dance, probably just like a private first dance with Randall and I down at the water. I've already planted down at the water fountain area of the Basiria Arbor with maybe the violinist doing it. Um, I feel like that would be amazing. It's still gonna be kind of expensive, right? Because the Vasira Arbor is like $3,000 to rent it. The If we did the 
see to dinner in the next area that's like three thousand dollars too and it's not like your normal reception so i feel like that's kind of expensive to pay for something where it's not normal reception i'm talking fast because i'm trying not to make this huge video so we'd probably only have 20-ish people less than 20 people show up because it's five and a half hours away and people aren't gonna drive that for a wedding no big deal it'd probably be our just like immediate family so here's where randall is not like he doesn't have strong opinions, but he's like, I hate that we're making it um, difficult for people to get there. I was like, I hear you, but I also really want beautiful photos. <laughs> so yes, not a lot of people will be there, but it'll be like the most important people, right? Our immediate family. And I do have obviously, like I know at least one of my friends and her husband will definitely come uh, no matter what. So. <sighs> that's my ideal and then we can do a party like a casual party with like all of our friends and like family that don't want to make that trip we can do like we'll feed them we'll booze them we'll have like yard games just like a nice summer party that's my plan asher's probably going to join me here in a second okay and then the next option is what i think his favorite there's they're called the tree houses it's in ohio it's built by some hgtv uh, star but it's just like in the woods a wedding and to me it feels a little murdery but <sighs> he thinks that that would be a two ish hour two and a half to three hour drive for our friends and family that live in ohio so it's still a drive right and it's not as pretty it's still it's beautiful all these options are beautiful they're not options they wouldn't be options if they weren't beautiful so that's what he would want to be more accommodating but like is it though because it's literally in the middle of nowhere like where are these people sleeping are they gonna drive home that night like i feel like if we did that there people aren't gonna want to get a treehouse lodge because it's very expensive to rent that and so they're gonna want to drive home and that drives so long that they're just gonna leave like right into the reception so that's my idea we'll keep that on the board because he likes it um, and then I did find a local Indiana reception that would be like a couple hour drive. It's still no matter what, gonna be like a couple hours, a couple hour drives for drive for people. So again, like I guess in this area they could get a hotel um, that's affordable. So maybe that one. It does have a beautiful outdoor ceremony garden. And then I did find another one in Ohio that is another couple hour. See the thing is like if I I must have beautiful photography, like a beautiful outdoor area. And to do that, you have to drive a couple hours. <laughs> um, because right now I, we live like cornfield, 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 cornfield. No, I'm not getting married in a cornfield. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm sure someone has, I'm sure lots of people have. Uh, so I found like an estate that's really pretty. But these are like more expensive options. Like right now, Cheekwood's the most inexpensive, just to give you an idea, the Nashville one. And then the last option, what is the last option? Let me bring it up. Oh, another Nash not Nashville, Gatlinburg one. Um, Pigeon Forge to be exact, they're right next to each other. And to be fair, I, no offense to people that love it, I hate Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg. It's just like a tourist trap to me. Uh, but this venue is beautiful so beautiful and i know i say i hate it we're definitely going to be going there in the future because kids love it like i remember um liking it when i was a kid we're going to take asher there like it's going to be a place we go to again so maybe it could be like nostalgic like oh this is where we got married and maybe it'll make me love pigeon forge i don't know uh but this one like the uh, where you get married is overlooking the most beautiful backdrop it is expensive though more more expensive i think so most of these would be like 6,000 plus just for the venue, 10,000 plus for the venue. Um, but Cheekwood, if we just did the ceremony, it'd be 3,000, which we could just do like go to a restaurant app, depending how many people would actually go, like rent out a room in a restaurant and that would cut down costs. So that's also an idea um, that I have kind of like spiraling in my mind. I don't know. I don't know. So please let me know, like, did you have a big wedding? Did you have a tiny wedding? Would you do it again? What would be things you changed? Like, I really need advice because, like, pop-up wedding would be my ideal. For some reason, it's not a big thing here. So uh, 
I would love to just show up to a wedding and be done and like have it all planned, everything done for me, which they call a pop-up wedding. There is one in Cincinnati and I just, it, it's like desert vibes, just not my thing. Because again, photography is the most important. <laughs> I just need this, this to be beautiful. And in my mind, beautiful, obviously it is beautiful. Like all these things are beautiful, just not like what I'm picturing. So that's why not wedding planning. Cut into fireplace montage here. Yeah. Working on the fireplace. Next, we're gonna do, cover this up. I use peel and stick here, but this one's gonna be actually a lot easier to use. I know a lot of you are probably yelling at your screens right now because I complained every time I did it. But the granite or whatever this stone is, um, is cracking in a bunch of different areas. So I do wanna cover and I think black will look nicer. So that's what we're doing. We're using a really thin peel and stick this time. So I'm just working on like measurements right now. And then we are gonna put up and hopefully it looks good. But if not, this one, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to actually take off if it's um, not good. And I need to wrangle that cat away from that plastic. Okay, she is done. I don't know if I love it. We still need to, we have like this strip to do the cords. We just haven't yet. I don't, I think I like it more than before, but I don't love it. But at the same time, I think I'm just gonna live with it for a while and see how it feels. And then again, someday I will tile the for real and probably actually this area too. But I think for now, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I don't think I've ever showed you. I did tile the um, sides too, so it goes all the way around. Look at that angle. We are getting a happy meal today, <laughs> an adult happy meal from McDonald's. We just so happen to live two blocks away from one, so we're gonna take the stroller out and go get us one. Hopefully they're not out of stock. It's like 11 something, so I'm thinking they won't be and I will report back. Hopefully, I'll report back with a happy meal. See you soon. Oh snap, now you get a time out Cause you hit it where my heart's at Got me going deeper than Amari when that ball snap Heard you sold your soul on Macari, got your call lacking Now I'm next though, at the party while you jump jacking You know it's the shot, and the rarest and the raw fast I'm still trying to figure how this all happened, huh? You know this ain't the time for the two of us Oh, I ain't got space uh -uh. to be thinking about you I don't know if you noticed anything, but there's not a happy meal in front of us. It's so sad, sad day. I don't know why I expect things to go the way they're supposed to go because literally every time I've ever tried to do the, like a reaction, a first impression video of something new that it kind of excites my soul that comes out, uh, my area doesn't get it. So and that's what happened. The girl, the counter, I know the poor thing's probably been asked this a million times at this point. Uh, when I ordered my Happy Meal, which, by the way, they had the signage all over the place for. So, of course I expected them to have it. Um, she's like, unfortunately, we don't have it. Uh, and that's what she said. And I was like, well, uh, is there like, uh, is it like coming later? Do you know if it's gonna come another day to this store? And she's like, our managers are in a meeting to go over that, which I know is the 
thing they told her probably to say whenever anyone comes in. I was like, no big deal. Um, and then I like, I, I didn't want to just leave and not get anything. So I looked at the menu and uh, they had that digital screen. It went from the Happy Meal to the next thing it switched to is a pumpkin spice latte. And I was like, give me one of those, please. And uh, that's what I got. I got a, I like the smallest size of that. And it wasn't that expensive. I think I had the receipt. It was only $2 and 56 cents after tax. And I've got to say, I don't hate it. I actually like it. Will I go to McDonald's specifically to get this? Probably not just because I have a coffee machine, but maybe as a special treat, him and I can go there because that was the first time I've ever walked there. It was less than two blocks. That was literally like a two minute walk. Now I'm a little sweaty right now <laughs> and that's because it's the sun's beaming down so and I'm in a sweater and I didn't want to just like strip down while we were on the walk or I would have um, had I not been you know in public uh, but yeah that was a fail I'm sorry if any of you came to this video expecting to see something nostalgic like I was um, we don't have it so Will I do a video on it in the future? Probably not. Probably not, unless I come out. The toys kind of suck, I'll be honest, when I was looking at the photos. I'm not so excited about the toys. I was just wanting, you know, a little Happy Meal. Uh, just, just to have it again. When and if they come out with like, you know, the, like, remember the Beanie Baby McDonald toys? I loved those. If they come out with a relaunch of those, you best Bet I will go there and get multiple Happy Meals. Oh, my favorite. And I think they did like Barbie collabs. I don't, on, it's like I said, it's been a long time. It's been over 20 years probably since like I got Happy Meals. <laughs> 20, nope, longer than that. Probably 25 years. I'm 32. I'm 32. And you know, I think the excitement of Happy Meals probably ended at age eight ish, if I have to guess. Um, but yeah, the Peony Babies though. McDonald's, you're not watching this. But people start tweeting them, bring the Beanie Babies back. Not these four-eyed uh, creatures that, I don't even remember, that was like old, old, old school, but did they have four eyes back then? Leave that in the comments. I thought they only had two eyes, but maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe they're just trying to come out with a new version of the old toys and they're like, let's add an extra set of eyes. That's what will get the people in. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go. Hope you enjoyed this video. That was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anticlimactic? Bye. Okay, bye.